they are warming up in the sun too not sure where the mom is she's maybe lying down at the bottom but these two little ones oh this is great and they seem very relaxed with us around them don't want to go too close don't want to disturb them but they are very happy lying out in the open in the sun warming up aren't they beautiful this is a little male and a female cub a little boy and a girl and they are about four months almost five months old so you're getting quite big already eating a lot of meat that their mother is able to catch for them so if she goes off and hunts and makes a kill she will come back call the cubs and take them to whatever it is that she has killed so that they can eat she has been a very successful mother she has been able to look after them and get them to this age when they are very young they are vulnerable to other predators it's not always easy for leopard cubs or even lion cubs for that matter so for a female leopard to look after the cubs and get them to this age she has done very very well look at those beautiful eyes I hope all you young girls at Rodine are enjoying this. This is very, very special. <laughs> they feel, they look almost like they're very lazy. They're just lying out resting. No need for them to move off anywhere. That one's playing with some grass on the branches in front of its face. We are so lucky to be able to see these little, little cubs. It's not often you get to see leopard cubs. Or even leopard for that matter. They're very, very shy. And they can hide away very, very well. So Michelle has asked us, <clears throat> where do the baby cubs sleep? So Michelle, at this age, the little cubs will sleep anywhere. Maybe on the termite mound or up in a tree. They can rest up there or on the ground where they are at the moment. They'll sleep anywhere. When they are very young and just after the female has given birth to them, they will sleep maybe in a little den site that the female has picked out for them and that could be anything like a, a dense dense thicket of bushes and trees that's very difficult to get into or maybe in some rocks that she can hide the cubs so any little den site where she can hide the cubs and keep them safe she will hide them there for the first month to a month and a half and then she might move them around to different areas and the older they get the more she will move them around and now they don't have a den site not at this age she will move them wherever she goes and then leave them for a short while if she goes to hunt she will come back and call them take them to the food once she has got something but in the meantime they can rest anywhere they like and already at this age they can climb trees very, very well. So they can climb up 
that tree right next to them, for example, and possibly sleep up there. This is so, so special, everybody. <laughs> Trying to chase some flies. So, little Maddie has asked us, how long do leopards live for? So, <clears throat> Maddie, they will live for about 15 years to 17 years old. So, not very long compared to us and how long people live. But for a leopard, that is a good life span. So, about 15 years to 17 years old. Sasha has asked me where the mommy leopard is. I'm not too sure, Sasha. I haven't seen her. We are right on the edge of a little embankment or a little drainage line. And she may be down at the bottom somewhere and we just can't see her. I don't want to drive around too much because I don't want to disturb the little cubs. They are very relaxed at the moment and we have to be very sensitive around them. When they are young, we want to make sure that they become used to the vehicle and not scared of the vehicle. So I'm not going to, going to drive around too much to look for the mom. If we're lucky, she may pop out while we are sitting here. She may be around, but I haven't seen, seen her yet. <laughs> 